Hi guys, I just want to go over dosage calculations again with you using the formula method. You know, there's several different ways that we can come up with dosage calculations. We can use ratios or proportions. Uh, my preference is the formula method. It's easy to do on your phone um, and that we always have available. Some of the other methods you really need to use paper or calculators or whatever if you're using fractions. So anyway, this is my preferred method and I think that everyone should know how to do this. And then if you want to um, understand one of the ratios or proportions, anything like that to help you double check your work, that would be awesome. So the formula method is the desired divided by what you have times the quantity equals the amount to be given. So let's go over a couple. So the first one we have is warfarin 10 milligrams PO. We have our packaging says warfarin 2.5 milligram tablets. So how many tablets are we going to give? So let's use your desired over half times quantity. So our desired dose is 10 milligrams. I have Warfarin 2.5, that's what my label will say, or that's what my packaging will say. So I have 2.5 milligram tablets, okay? Do I need to convert these? No, these are the same units. When you use this formula method, they must be the same units. So um, I don't need to convert. So uh, my quantity is 2.5 tablets. So that would be times one tablet. So I just do the math, 10 divided by 2.5 times one equals, four tablets, okay? And then you always wanna do the DIMS test. Does that make sense? So just kind of think about it. So if I have 2.5 milligram tablets, if I'm giving four tablets, it would make sense that it's going to be more than one, right? There's going to be several tablets to get up to 10 milligrams. So that makes sense. Always do the DIMS test. And if you end up with something like 100 tablets or, you know, four gallons or, you know, something way off the Richter scale, really kind of reconsider that, kind of look and think about it logically and see if that's, that seems reasonable to you. Okay, so always do the does it make sense, the DIMS test. So here we go with another. So we have um, a patient's ordered 0 0.3 grams of phenytoin. Remember, phenytoin is a seizure med. The medication comes from the pharmacy. It says phenytoin, 300 milligram capsules. How many will you give? So our desired dose is 0 0.3 grams. We have our packaging says 300 milligrams. Um, do we need to convert? Yes, because we cannot, remember with the desired over have, we have to have the same unit, so we have to convert. I like to use um, ratios. Um, you can use proportions or any way that you wanna make that, um, you know, make that work out. That's what I like to do though. So for a ratio, I'm gonna put one gram I'm going to put down what I know first is a thousand milligrams. And that's going to be the same as 0 0.3 grams as to X. So when you do ratios, you multiply the insides and the outsides, okay? We're going to cancel out the grams here, okay? So we have 1X equals 1,000 times 0 0.3. And then for math, um, so we have 1x equals 300 milligrams. And then we divide both sides by 1, so x will stand alone. x equals 300 milligrams. Okay, so now we know that the desired is 0 0.3 grams or 300 milligrams. Okay, so let's plug our numbers in. Our desired is 300 milligrams. We have phenytoin 300 milligram capsules, 300 milligrams times one capsule, and 300 divided by 300 is one. 
So we're going to be giving one tablet, okay? Or one capsule. All right, let's try one more. So here we are with the liquid. The physicians ordered digoxin a liquid elixir, 0 0.25 milligrams. It's available in 500 mics per ml. So how many mls will we give? So again, if you notice, this is another one where the units aren't the same, so we're going to have to convert. Okay, our desired is 0 0.25 milligram. We have 50 mics per, our quantity is 1 ml, okay? So we need to convert. Um, if we have mics available, we're going to want to turn this into mics, okay, so that we know um, what we're given. So we can do ratio again. 1 milligram is to 1,000 mics as 0 0.25 milligrams is to X mics, okay? So again, we're going to multiply the outsides and the insides, rainbow it. So 1X equals 1,000 times 0 0.25 and X equals 250, okay? So our desired is 250 mics. So let's plug our numbers in. So desired is 250 mics, micrograms. We have 50 micrograms per one ml. And we do the math. 250 divided by 50, we're gonna come up with five ml so uh, does it make sense five ml so one ml okay <coughs> excuse me so one ml for 50 mics and here we have 250 mics so we know it's going to be more than that right so just logically thinking it does make sense okay